What's up guys? Learning with Rich here. In this video, we're going to continue our Revit 2024 for architecture. So this time, I'm going to show you how to create grids. Okay, so before we create grids, so let us uh, review first the user interface of Revit 2024. So I forgot to uh, navigate the 2024 user interface last time when we created a project and create levels so this time before we create our grids so let us explore first our uh, user interface so as you can see here at the top so that's the name of your software Revit 2024 and then this is our home view okay so here on our recent files you can see your recent uh, created or recently uh, open projects so in Revit 2024 this is a new uh, model okay so this is a new model so before the only model that they have so let me show it to you so I'm gonna click the home here and then I go to the file and then I go to the open and then I can check the sample files here the only uh, project that they have the sample project is this one. Oh, sorry uh, where is it I think they already remove it I think they changed it already okay so this is now their new project so how about this one uh, this one is uh, new as well and then these are new as well so this is different from the ones that we have known since the beginning of Revit so this is now a new sample project anyway so let me go back to the home view so let's click again this button here so this is your home view and then you have here the standard buttons like open creating a new project opening a family creating a new family so it's subdivided so you have models here so you have families here families is like blocks in AutoCAD so here every elements that you put in your project every 3d elements or 2d elements they are families okay so you can see here the recently uh, recent files so you have the autodesk docs here my insight and then other options so to create a new project so you can that's what i did uh, that's what i did on my first video so you can watch the first video so we created a new project there and created the uh, level now for this exercise i'm just going to open the create grids file so you can select open and then you can select that or it's already here on my recent files because i recently opened this so i'm just going to click this to open now to further explore the user interface okay so here at the top so this is what we call quick access toolbar so in my quick access toolbar you can see here the uh, uh, tools that we commonly use or that we always use most of the time these are the tools that we always i uh, use frequently used tools and then you also have an option here if you want to put it uh, like uh, below the ribbon so you can select show below the ribbon which is my preference okay so this is our quick access toolbar you can remove you can add so let's say you want to add the new button just click the new and then it will now be added here so you can click again if you want to hide so let's say you want to hide the uh, uh, activate controls and dimension so you can click that so it will now be hidden here from the quick access toolbar so just click that click that if you want to show it again there you go okay so this is the quick access toolbar this is the title bar you can see here the revit version and then the name of the project and then the name of your current view so this is our current view floor plan 00 dash foundation okay and then you also have here your info info center okay so there's your autodesk id and then you have here autodesk app store and then the help button okay so Revit 2024 just like the other previews of Revit so you, it's composed of ribbons okay so this is ribbon tab so these are ribbon tabs okay so from the ribbon tabs just below the ribbon tabs you can see here the ribbon panels so like for the architecture you can see here all the architectural tools 
so you have the build panel and then these are the tools so you have here the circulation panel so these are the tools the model panel so these are the tools so if you are going to do some uh, building services or mechanical electrical plumbing uh, modeling just go to the systems tab and then you will be able to see here the tools that you use for MEP same with structure okay so let's say you want to put some text or dimensions to your project so you can go to annotate so these are the tools that you can use to annotate your model like putting dimensions putting some detail items adding text tagging uh, space tags legend etc etc and so on and so forth okay so this area here as you can see it's blank okay it's because this is your uh, conceptual contextual tab uh, cons uh, options bar I mean so this is your options bar so options bar uh, this one will only populate options if you select an element so let's say for example I go to architecture I create a wall here if I click the wall tool you can see your options bar will populate with options and then you can see there's a color green uh, tab as well so this is a contextual tab this contextual tab only appears if you select an element or if you select a tool just like in our case we select the wall tool so on our contextual tab you can see there's a draw panel added here so if you want to terminate your tool just select here modify so it's now terminated and then there's no more contextual tab no more options bar okay so if I create a simple wall here create a wall like that and then I select modify to terminate so if I select this one so your contextual tab will appear again and then you can see here the options for that selected element so same with your options bar so some of the elements when you select so there are some options that you can uh, use here to modify that particular element now to deselect the object just press your escape or just select here modify okay so that's your options bar let's click this and then delete you can press the delete button and then you have here the project browser and then you have here the properties and then the name of the view and then you have the view control bar okay so if you want to know about your user interface what you can do you can just press F1 I'm gonna show you I'll press F1 and then your help will now appear so this is your Autodesk help so these are the here you'll be able to see anything that has something to do with Revit 2024 just like what's new in Revit so you can just check from here all right so you can get uh, get started okay and then you can also explore your model so like uh, get started user interface okay so you can see here the user interface okay so these are you can explore this one okay so we're not going to explore all the user interface it will take a lot of time so let's uh, now dive in creating our grids so let's create the grid so after learning how to create project learning how to create levels so let's create the grids okay so to create the grids you can type gr gulp richard gr that's the shortcut for grids or from the architecture look for datum that's your grid okay so let's click the grids click that and then from the contextual tab modify place grid contextual tab you can see here some options in creating your grids so let's use the line tool so for the line tool let me just zoom out a bit so I'm going to pick one point here and then I'm going to pick another point here so automatically it numbers to one okay so let's select here modify to terminate it 
Now, let me create another grid. So, let's say I want grid with a distance of 9,500. Okay, so let's select the grid. This time, let's use the pick lines. Pick lines. And then, let's specify the offset distance. And then, type the distance. 9,500, enter. And then, move your pointer here. Over. Make sure it's the preview is to the right. So, you click. There you go. And then, I want to add more grids. So, I'm going to change the offset like 7925. Enter. Again, make sure your pointer is a little heading to the right. Because if you move your pointer to the left, as you can see, the preview now is the left. Right? So, let's move there. There you go. Again, I'm going to put another grid with same distance, 7925. There you go. And 7925 again for number 5. And let's say I want uh, 2500. Enter. There you go. And then select modify. Okay, so now I'm going to select all of these grids so I can use this selection. This is a uh, crossing selection. So as you can see, even if these elements or these grids are not completely inside the box, so as long as it touches the dotted line, it will be selected like that. But if you are going to select from left to right, as you can see, it's not being selected unless you put that completely inside the square or rectangle or your selection box so it will be selected so that's the difference of making a window from right to left that is a crossing window so this one is a uh, window selection okay so that's just a normal window selection but this one is crossing selection so this is window selection this is crossing selection so any element that touches that dotted line it will be selected okay so this one is window so in order for you to select the object so make sure it's completely inside the box okay so let's select and then let's use the arrow on our keyboard and then let us just use it just to nudge it tidy up our grids okay so that's our vertical grid now the next one is we're going to create the uh, this is the vertical so let's create the horizontal grid okay so let's use again the grid uh, i'm gonna use a line tool and then i'm going to pick somewhere here and then i'm going to pick here now for my horizontal line or horizontal grid i want that to be uh, alphabet letters so I'm gonna make it A alright and then let's use again our grid so let's use the peak lines tool so let's specify the distance 7683 for example and then let's create here so that's your B automatically the Revit follows the alphabet Okay, so I'm gonna put another one for grid C, another one here, and then let's say I'm gonna change the offset. I'll make it uh, 5700, enter, and then let's pick, and then the last one, 2500, okay, so 2500, there you go. And then select here modify okay so i can change this one so let's say i want to make this uh e.5 something like that okay and then i'm going to click this grid here and then you see that uh small circle there so i'm going to drag that the other grids will follow as well okay so i'm going to select all of the grids but I do not want to select this elevation here. This is an elevation marker. So this is your east elevation. This is north elevation. This is uh, west elevation and then south elevation. So as you can see, east, north, southwest. 
So I'm going to select all the grids. To select all the grids, instead of using crossing selection or window selection, I'll try another option. So I'm going to click one of the grid and then right click. And then there's an option here, select all instances visible in view. So I'm going to select that. And there you go. So it's now selected. All the grids are now selected. So let's use again the arrow on our keyboard. Just tidy up something like that. Modify. Okay, so let's click this. Let's drag a little like that. Okay, so if I want to have a bubble as well on the left side or on both sides of my grid, so I'm just going to click one of the grid here. Let's go to the properties. Let's go to the edit type here. And then let's look for the plan view symbols. And so let's tick this one like that. Both check, select OK. There you go. All right? So let's click this. Just tidy up. And there you go. So we just created now our grids. So that's it for this simple exercise. Hopefully you learned something from this video. Thank you for watching. Have a nice day.